words can be. Hey guys, my name is Katie, welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a book discussion on The Scorched Trials by James Dashner. So the first half of this video is going to be completely non-spoiler and then I will go on to like other spoilery parts afterwards for those of you that have read this book. So for the non-spoilery part, I'm not going to explain the synopsis of this book because that would just completely spoil the first book. So I will give you a synopsis of the first book which is called The Maze Runner. So we have this outside of this maze area Area where all these boys wake up and they have no memories of their past whatsoever at first they can't remember their name it takes like 24 hours for them to actually remember their name and they still don't remember anything about their past so one day we have this main character called Thomas and he wakes up into the glade so he makes new friends into the glade and everything and he is very very curious about this maze and we have these runners and every day they run the maze to try and look for an escape route and there are these creatures that are called grievers and if you are stuck in the maze after the doors close then you will have to deal with the grievers and nobody ever makes it out alive because of them what the hell is going on and uh, that is literally like the first book they have to just find and discover everything that's about this maze about why they're put there and it's just it's a really really good book i think the first time that i read it actually gave it four stars because i watched the film first and then i read the book and they're they're like similar but like different in all sorts of ways um but i still like really enjoyed the first book so what i would say about this second book first of all is that it is very very different from the movie so if you've watched the movie and you haven't read the book then please please do expect that there is absolutely nothing <laughs> like what is in this book because as i was reading it i was like well this bit's kind of in there but they made a little twist on it uh but this bit isn't in it and i can understand like why they did it and in all honesty I actually prefer like the movie version I prefer how they made the movie and that's probably why James Dashner completely respects the movie as well but I, I really really liked how they what they did with the movie and how they like made it into you know continue into the third movie whereas like this one it's just it's so much more different and it's more like about friendships and survival but not so much about like retaliation I would say whereas you know in the movie there's just it's just a lot of like trying to survive trying to find you know this place to go and then trying to just fight against like the bad guys sort of thing but yeah just it's so much different um I I have an absolute hate for the character Teresa. I do in the film, I, I really do not like her. The moment I met Teresa, I was just like, I do not like you. And it takes me a lot to actually hate a person, but my God, do I hate Teresa. Just, there's just nothing about her that sort of sparks, and I just find it irritating and annoying. I just, I hate her. I really honestly hate her. There are times in this book where I really even want to punch Thomas, because I don't get like, why he's just developed this friendship or this liking towards Teresa and Teresa's the girl that comes out of the ground and I'm just like why because there's just nothing about her and yeah sometimes I literally just wanted to slap a bunch of and be like seriously just wake up like there's better things in the world than Teresa now Newt I obviously love Newt Newt is probably like my favorite character in the books so far I love Newt so so much and then like mean home he is like totally awesome he's like really kick ass and kick butt he's kind of cheeky especially in this book uh he doesn't really come across that cheeky in the movies in my opinion but like in this book like he's really, really sort of like cheeky um but i do like um like the survival aspect of this book i like how the cranks are shown in this book um and like i say like the character sort of development in with it and like the survival aspect and yeah this book i say is just more about like survival i totally totally do recommend to read the book but like i say just don't compare it to the movie because it is so so different so if you haven't watched the movies it's up to you if you want to read the books first but like i say they're quite they're quite different but they've kept like some main ideas in the movie so now i'm going to move on to the spoilery part of this book so if you haven't read this book and you don't want to be spoiled and any more of it then please do end the video now and i will see you guys in my next video but for those of you that have read this book that have watched the movie and you would like to continue hey hello and let's start spoiling so it's a continuation of the maze they're out of the maze and 
and then they're in this building and then they see all these people like hanging from the ceiling and it's just like what is going on why are these people being hanged supposedly these are the people that have saved them and if I'm comparing it to the movie they're in this building but like it's nothing like that they're just sort of like surviving in this building they're trying to trust the wicked people whereas this one they're just sort of like what is going on there's nobody else sort of in the building these mysterious things are happening supposedly Teresa is like in this room and then she's not we have this other boy that's in the room and then there's this like telepathic thing like with Thomas and Teresa and then like she's just being like a twat with the telepathy and like and then just Thomas is just pining after her and I'm just like Thomas stop it she's gone and just live with it so I would say there was this scene when they go under this like little cave and there's these like metal balls that are like trying to attack them and they engulf their head and like things like that that was kind of creepy that was kind of weird so how they've managed to do the cranks in this book like I thought was quite good like how they're showing the infection how the infection is taking over the cranks and the people and how like Thomas and his friends get to see everything of that like I thought was really good as well and obviously like us as a reader we get to sort of see like this horrible disease that's taking over the fact that the world is now a sort of like wasteland like the earth is completely scorched by the sun it's so hot and just how things are just so different to when they came out of the maze so Thomas and his friends are given this trial where they have to face the scorched earth and they have to literally cross it and survive and they start off with like quite a vast amount of people who have survived like Thomas's maze and then they find that there's like other mazes as well and survivors of that maze and so it's quite interesting that there wasn't just one maze and it's just sort of like oh this is like pretty interesting and how they've just got to start on this little course of going across and then they find these other people Brendan and George and then when they meet them they end up getting separated again and then they have to learn to sort of like divide and create new friendships and to try and find this cure because apparently they have been told that they're all infected by this disease and that they're all going to turn one day so they're all cranks really so they're just like hey if there possibly is a cure that Wicked has created then let's survive this scorched earth because you know they tried turning back and then they found that it was worth turning back so the only way was forwards really and then they end up meeting the weird like crank people under this little cave bit and so they're like captured there and then they end up like being freed but then Teresa comes back and she's like a bitch and I'm just like what and one thing like I really sort of couldn't get is just when Teresa's like telepathic with Thomas and she says one thing and then she says another and then like the next minute she's like oh I had to say things like that because like I'm being watched and I had to do things like that and I had to kiss Eris and whatever and like it's just it was all stupid I'm just like Teresa <laughs> you're such a bitch just fuck off and then when they're in the scorched earth they sort of reach like the ending point like the finish line where they're exactly meant to go and then they discover that a thunderstorm is gonna start again because they had one previously which ended up scorching like a few kids um, and killed some of them Minho got a little bit scorched but he managed to survive so another thunderstorm starting there's these little pods they can sort of like try and get into but then there's these like weird creatures that aren't grievers but they're like a little bit different and they sort of like got to survive against them and so when they survive against them then they can get in the pod to survive and then they discover like the worker that works for wicked and it's just like what so it was like a nice little surprise little extra trial that was at the end of the finish line. To be honest, if I was Thomas, I would never ever trust Teresa again because she is a betrayer and she is a dick and she just, she's a twat. She just leads Thomas and the other guys a completely wrong direction and she's just stupid. So I just hope that in the third book that 
that Thomas just isn't going to trust her again and he does sort of like mention in this book like after all that it's like how can I trust her again like I feel nothing towards her now sort of thing like you're dead to me sort of thing so I'm hoping that like he just doesn't have a like warming towards her obviously if you have read it don't spoil me like I haven't read it yet but oh my god just but all in all guys this book like there was a lot of sort of action that's going on like straight away like the beginning of the book we are thrown into the book like exactly where it left off and like there's so much like mystery in it because we're just like discovering along with the kids like what's happened to the earth what's wicked about and things like that and then like just I love books about survival so just watching these kids like try to survive and go from there and then we meet some new characters who are pretty awesome and yeah just going on from that and then just at the end there's just this like little action pack thing as well so there's like action amongst like the survival yet we are seeing some sort of like character developments as well. So all in all guys I ended up giving this Scorched Trials by James Dashner 4.5 Kit Kats out of 5. The reason I docked it like half star is because the section with like the Teresa just where she just abducted Thomas and that whole little mini section like I, th I just thought it was stupid like completely stupid and yeah I just I just really didn't like that little bit but other than that I loved the rest of it I loved the survival I just loved learning more about stuff and things like that so there you have it guys that is the end of my review and discussion on the Scorch Trials by James Dashner if you have read this book do let me know down below in the comments what you thought about it and if you haven't let me know if it'd be of interest to you but if there's any other comments or thoughts you would like to know about this book then don't hesitate to let me know but thank you very much for watching my videos always give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it keep smiling keep reading and be happy and I'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video Bye.